okay the company provide this lead screw it is the diameter the diameter is 8 mm and the lead is 8 so I exchange that one with that one it is 12 mm lead 10 so it's 12 diameter lead 10 uh, let me open it and show you uh, what kind of nut I'm putting with that one because I don't like this uh, plastic nut S me A S A C me E it is it's plastic actually come with it so I exchange it with the strong one I, I, I don't think this will last long especially if somebody like to put a servo uh, with the machine Anyway, give me some time, folks, and then I try to open it now. Uh, this X carriage beam. X carriage beam. Let me open it and let us see what's inside. Okay. Let me get that away. And you can see from here. I'll give you a little bit clue the nuts is different now I will open it and show you okay. I try to make this video short as much as I can do Okay, now we open it and this is the nuts. Let us see slowly. I flip it up. Now you could see this nut. It's supposed to be working as a block nut, but I put the back uh, backlash with it. Okay. This is, does not need backlash, only one side I put. Uh, this is for X axis. And you could see, folks, this is going smoothly. If you see it very clear, it's moving s smoothly. Anyway, now from where I get this idea, I mean, uh, I could not find this kind of not in the market so I have to fabricate it actually I don't know about welding the cob or anything so I bring it to the shop to weld it but I give him the design the idea it was like that let me show you that was roundy that was roundy and I grind it you could see this is the usually nut you could find it or lead nut you could find it in the market so we remove that one that one and we got this shape to get this shape over here make it like a block and the hole I bring another small beam 
which is uh, one santi by one santi it was a like small bar almost like 20 santi and then it start to grind it and cut it and I do the shape to make it stuck like that I see I mean you could see of course the sizes will be a little bit different depends but usually if you if you look for from here the distance and this side and this side it is it is two centimeter 20 mm that's two centimeter so I need only to cut this side and after welding everything is become perfectly nice I have to drill it from down so it will give me the same size of BCM ACM as me, as me, as me. I don't know why they call it. Uh, I don't know what stand for uh, ACME. I don't know, but it is just plastic. So remove that one. And hold it like this. It will become like that. And what about this side? How you fit it? And then if you look carefully, let me flip it. It will give you enough room. Uh, to thread the, the teeth and do for the screw over here after you drill it a little bit so that's the shape so as I said here you don't have to put backlash so just one side is enough actually uh, the plastic knot it is not coming with backlash, back, uh, backlash so you just push it by your finger and then tight it and that's it so the both side is going to be like that usually but forget about that this is uh, make it more reliable more stronger and also more practical for long life this is my idea about upgrading um, work P C N C, and we will see later on what kind of upgrade I can do with this machine. It is beautiful machine. It just small touch to be upgrade.